Hey guys, just wanted to remind you, make sure to watch part 21 first if you have not, and let's get right into the video. This dude is a great elemental mage, which is a hell dungeon leader. He is almost level 40 at 39. He has 10k strength, agility, physique, as well as 40,000 spirit. And we see his abilities here. He has meteorite, flame burst, wind shackles, and magic shield, and these seem pretty OP. And look at this guy, he looks very ominous. Anyway, he then launches an attack at our MC, but our MC manages to block it, and he says that this is a boss of hell difficulty dungeon I see, but why is it like a human or some sort? We then see his skeleton get right in front of him to take the blow, and it gets instantly incinerated as our MC dashes away. He says this dude is definitely at the pinnacle of strength among those I have fought so far, and he commends him for having 40,000 spirit power, and that's why his attack had so much power right behind it. He says I have no choice, as you see his skeletons begin to attack him. We hear that it uses its magic shield and look at this dude, he looks very ominous with his eyes literally glowing yellow and we see water begin to flow out and it seems like they're actually trying to attack his magic water shield. He says that it's so tough and it has a defense that even that is even higher than a knight's and so he decides to use soul blaze and he sends the attack towards a water shield. The dude seems kind of shocked, however it seems like he was actually prepared and he yells out, kill me and you'll get an answer and I don't know what the heck this guy is on about. We see a bunch of, oh my gosh, our Linmo Yu is going crazy at this guy. He sent ice, fire, and lightning, even thunderbolt, or I guess that's lightning anyway. But anyway, it begins to become distorted, but it seems like the shield is parrying it all. And so his skeletons begin to come right at him. We then see they are right on him, literally covering him from head to toe. However, he uses silence and he attacks one of the skeletons. And he says that it's a special skill that is used against mages, and it pretty much blocks their powers. He then uses wind shackles on the skeletons, and this isn't really looking good. And he says that the military control skill only works against stuns affecting the mental state, so it doesn't work with this type of wind shackles. And so if his skeleton mages keep getting silenced and suppressed, then the only person that can take him down is himself. He says it's my first time having to fight a boss solely on my own, but our MC is definitely ready. He then uses Soul Blaze once more, and it seems like this guy begins to cough out sweat, or no, saliva I mean, because he's super exhausted I'm supposing. And so he begins to get furious and he launches up meteor fire and we see all the meteors coming down towards our MC and this is definitely gonna sting. Our MC says that this is way stronger than the second job transfer mage and so he won't even decide to dodge it and he brings out a lot of artifacts mentioning that he'll strengthen his skeleton armor. We then see he brings it up right here and it seems like he is safe but then the guy uses silence once more and our MC begins to drink potions to recover his spirit and he says you really try to silence me my skeleton armor is immune to all control and negative effects, and so our boy really is just chilling now. He says that this will become a battle of attrition, and let's see who can stand the longest. And we see the mage guy, and he begins to disappear of some sorts. We find out that he begins to get his soul ablaze, and that kind of reminds me like Demon Slayer or something. And he says, looks like I'm the one still standing, and oh my gosh, our MC just really has a smile on his face. The guy then begins to fall to the ground, and yes guys, he has killed the level 39 element magician and he gains almost 4 million XP. He gets an intermediate flash skill scroll, a talent stone, as well as a space crystal and damage divine flame staff. We then see his body disappear and oh gosh what a sad story and I wonder why that dude wanted to get eliminated so badly. We then see the attributes of the things that he has garnered and he mentions that there's so many at once and they're all items of the super high grade. Nonetheless we see Ning Yi come into the battlefield always after it is done and she says or always after the fight is done and she mentions how the heck could this be? She says this is the divine flame staff and this is super super rare and she asks where he got it. He then asks if this is super special and she holds it in her hands and she mentions that this is actually the flame staff that was once exclusive to the master of magician of fire, master Yu Yan. And later on a great battle, he disappeared along with the staff. We then see the staff sort of turns on and it begins to steam and so she lets go of it as it begins to float. And oh my god we see an image come out into the sky and it, I'm guessing this is Yu Yan the fire magician and he is wearing some sort of robe. 
our MC puts on his skeleton armor just for safe measure, and yes, this is Yuyan, the remnant soul of him. He says, don't be afraid, children. And she says, are you really Master Yuyan? He says, oh, little miss, you must know me, I see. He then says, Junior Linmo Yu greets Master Yuyan, and it seems like they're definitely showing respect, and they, as they bow, of course. He says, I see, I've been dead for so many years and you still remember me. However, he mentions that he doesn't have much time, because a battle consumed a lot of his energy. He says a space rift appeared on the third battlefield, and that rift connected the human race and the abyssal world, as you see it right here, and it looks kind of like a stomach of the galaxy, but hey, I'm not gonna judge the artist, because this looks super, super cool. He explains that the great demon king of the abyssals led a large-scale invasion of tens of millions of demons, and he led the legion of the magicals to fight them, and it seems like our boy really was a goat. We find out that here it is, guys, a flashback from earlier, the army of magicians launched a forbidden spell and they defeated the great demon king as well as his army. And in that battle, he got this space crystal and he mentions that in this crystal is recorded a place in the abyssal world and they need to find for a goaded alchemist and oh my gosh, I'm definitely looking forward to this. He says you need to go to the abyss and our boy Lin Yu is kind of shocked. But he asks, in return, I will hand over the space crystal to the senior officers of the empire. And he says only you can use them, so it's a waste to give them to anyone else. Yu Yan then asks if he has awakened his talent, and Erlin Mo Yu says yes. We find out right here that of course, congratulations to the host for awakening the only deity level talent, complete increase one level, and oh my gosh, it seems like your boy is definitely going to become a stronger necromancer. Yu Yan then says, at your second awakening, you must awaken another talent, and even though it is going to be so hard, I know you can't achieve it, and you're going to be way more OP than Sung Jinwoo. Oh, oh, sorry guys, I, that's actually not there, but who knows, let's see how strong he gets. He then says, with your third talent, your strength will reach an unbelievable level, and there has only been one powerhouse with three talents in history, so you must be the second. And I'm wondering if that's uh, if the first one was Sung Jinwoo, but eh, it's probably not. He says he will do his best, and the guy mentions, I don't like talentless people, and giving it to another person would be a waste, and it seems like this dude is pretty smart. He says, however, that Miss, who was quite good, she came t a long time ago as well, and he was also moved. However, it seems like she came in a team, and that team was sort of lacking. We see an image of her, and he says that having said that, that Miss seems to be somewhat familiar to you, and oh my gosh, this is actually Lin Mo Yu's sister, let's go. He says that her talent was pretty good, but she was a little bit off. Our boy Lin Mo Yu is obviously shocked, and he says when he met her several months ago, she was already at level 35, but he's not sure now. And her MC says, she has already improved. Moved so quickly. He says that level is not that important because of course Lin Mo Yu is level 20 <laughs> Lin Mo Yu is level 27 and he's just wrecking everyone. Like, trust me guys, would you rather be a low level with high power or a high level with low power? Obviously, you'd be the first one. Anyway, he explains that your summons all have good combat power, but it seems like his talents could be amplifying them as well. However, there are still weaknesses and they can easily be manipulated. However, if he gets a talent for anti-control, then his skills and his potential and his sky limit will be definitely limitless. And our boy has his hands in his pockets like usual, and that guy explains that that's pretty much why I chose you. He then says that his soul will be integrated into the staff, making it stronger after repair, so find somebody worthy of it. And he says, Senior, don't worry, I will definitely not let your divine flame staff go to waste. We then see they are ready to get out of the place, and he says it's because of the blood of such people that our human race can survive the threat of the abyss, and that's why they need to continue to get stronger. They then teleport away, and we see outside of the dungeon, they are all cheering saying, no oh my gosh, no way, they cleared the dungeon, that's awesome. The only ones who cleared the first battlefield dungeon in hell difficulty, they are way too strong. We then see Xi Xing Nan, and he says, that's junior brother Lin, no way, and it seems like they're going to have a heartfelt reunion. He then tells Ning Yi Yi, I have a bad feeling, because no good will come out of this dungeon, and we then see something beginning to come towards them or away from them, I'm not sure, and they seem to be like meteors. He says that there is a demon coming, and they need to get ready to fight. We then see a whole horde of demons in the sky, and he says, finally, this ugly creature, finally, I can taste the delicious human flesh, and come on, bro, uh, you're probably gonna become an undead summon to our boy Lin Mo Yu, because, yeah, you definitely picked the wrong character to mess with. We then see he ascends to the ground, and he begins to attack the skeleton, saying, what the heck? 
why are these undead things over here? However, one of our Liboy's Lin Mo Yu summons actually slices it easily and they kill a lot. As you see right here, level 37 dead, level 38 dead, Abyssal Wolf Demon, and as well as an Abyss Snake Demon. Ning Yi Yi and Lin Mo Yu are just there, and Ning Yi Yi mentions how she definitely will encounter the Space Tunnel again, and a lot of people are attacking these hunters or these warriors. This guy mentions that direction, and they are all super nervous for what's to come. And she then says, let's hope for the best case. We then see a space tunnel right here, which is two times larger than the previous one. And yeah, I definitely would not want to see this in real life. Just kidding, guys. Bring them over to me and I'll handle them. <laughs> anyway, we then see a lot of these ugly rats coming out of there. And our MC mentions that he can't throw corpses into the tunnel or the flame demon king will notice. And yep, that's definitely not what you want. He then uses Corpse Explosion on the outside. He says, these guys are really way too stupid for trying to fight me. Corpse Explosion, kaboom, and yep, he gets 1800 merit and they all just get incinerated. However, more of course begin to come and I wonder how many demons are in this manhwa. I wonder if it's as much as the other necromancer animes. But hey, honestly, if that just means our boy Lin Moyu can get more summons, that's even way better. They then begin to keep on getting obliterated and we find out that he's even got promoted. A normal hunting team that spends a year and a half in the third battlefield might not even get 10,000 merits. However, they have now become a first star second lieutenant. Of course, we Ningyi is just happy and smiling, but Lin Mo Yu knows that stronger demons are coming as we see two of them begin to emerge. We then see two of them are like shadows, the level 40, 18,000 strength, and however the spirit is low, and this other one has 17k strength, and the spirit is not too bad. They then begin to see, to yap, and you know, they just begin to talk trash, because you know, they're gonna die anyway. They say, I wanna catch a few human slaves. But yeah, you guys are definitely going to become the ones that are slaves to our MC. He says, why are they all corpses? What happened? And they are discussing about their comrades, and he says, don't tell me there's a human with a third evolved profession camping us in here, right? And and welp, he hasn't even reached a second awakening, so you guys are definitely in for a treat. Our MC uses Corpse Explosion, and one of the ants says, oh, look how ugly this guy is anyway. He says, it's just a little level 27 guy. I've decided to let you become my slave. However, well, kaboom, and he gets exploded. And Ning Yi even says, are these guys all idiots? But then it seems like she actually retracted her statement, and she mentions, actually, if I were a demon, or any other being, if I saw a level 27 wipe out so many higher demons, I would definitely think that that was a possible. However, we see that the tunnel is about to collapse, but our MC mentions, I will borrow these stupid corpses, and he throws them inside, and well, he gets 7,000 merit, and that's just like that, guys, you know, that's just a, such an OP ability. It seems like he has gotten another star, they are second star lieutenants, and I wonder what Lord Byer's reaction is gonna be, guys, let me know what you guys would think. We then see they are literally just chilling now, and she mentions that one explosion, and of course they were instantly trans- or sorry, they were instantly promoted to level 2 star lieutenant, and yeah, they're definitely going to be like a 5 star general in the next 10 chapters or probably, but MC mentions, oh oh, this is the destination teleportation stone that senior sister Moyun gave last time, and it seems like she is in need of her boy's assistance. He then gets a flashback, and we hear this is the teleportation stone given to when Moyun invited me and Yi Yi to the battlefield, because of course they need to defeat the ghost king. He says, I want wonder if she finally found that ghost king, and Ning Yi gets nervous, because of course, she's definitely not enough to fight that beast on her own. They then teleport away, and we then see Shi, and he says, where are the monsters? One of his knight subordinates says very happily, uh, boss, can you just look there? Yup, it's a mountain of the demon corpses. And he says, who the heck did this? Abyssal knife demon? This is a higher demon, how did it die so easily? And oh gosh, they look at each other like, oh, it's definitely Junior Lin, right? And he says, why does this feel so familiar and yeah bro it's probably because you read solo loving just kidding it's obviously because this has happened in the past when senior lin or sorry when junior lin saved these guys in the past and i just said past twice but hey who cares he says to think that we were worried for him it looks like it was nothing and lin mo yu definitely has become way stronger we are now in the second battlefield as we see a beautiful white pegasus and somebody with black hair and she says why aren't they here and yup it is sister mo yoon and it seems like she is in desperate need of her boy's riz i mean of her boy's assistance as well as Ning Yi Yi. This is the Battlefield Ghost King at level 39 with 25,000 strength, 20,000 agility and spirit.
spirit and of course it takes negative 50 holy damage as well as physical damage and this guy just looks like an oni just your typical anime demon anyway we then look up above and of course we see wang zi hao and wow this dude's really trying to fight sister mo yoon just because she wants to get the nirvana crystal anyway they send forward their attacks but she dodges it oh my gosh she really is quite skilled but she begins to get nervous because she mentions if this prolongs anymore then this definitely isn't going to last well or i mean last long and uh, go well my bad guys Anyway, of course, we then see in the sky she attacks them, but they use up a barrier, and she mentions they actually have another team, and this definitely isn't going good. She says if she misses this chance, then this is going to be very hard to get this type of opportunity. And so, she then uses her attack, and she says, I can't shake away these annoying people from the Wang Chao guild at all, and she wonders why Ning Yi Yi as well as Lin Mo Yu are not there yet. Just at that second, we see Zi Hao, and yes guys, it seems like Lin Mo Yu has come to the rescue using his orb of protection, and of course, we then see their arrows begin to go at them again, even flame arrows. Wow, these guys are really desperate, and it cracks through the defense. However, he uses skeleton armor, and yep, this is way too OP. Even, oh my gosh, even Sister Mo Yun is like, oh crap, this dude really is a Rizzler. And she says Lin Mo Yu's skill actually blocked all these attacks, so that's why Yi Yi has been enjoying this type of protection. Zi Hao looks up, and he gets a flashback of Lin Mo Yu saying, Oh, it's you again, I see. And yup, he's definitely infuriated because her MC is way stronger than this piece of trash. Sorry dude, but you had to get roasted. Anyway, she asks Sister Mo Yu what happened, and she pretty much explains that she discovered the Battlefield Ghost King, but coincidentally, the Wang Chao Guild was nearby, so they came in to try and swoop in the crystal, and as well as a loot. He says that these pieces of trash are literally just bullying the weak when they are strong, and she then asks if he has seen them before. For. He says we had a minor conflict, and yeah, pretty much every conflict is minor to her boy Lin Mo Yu because he's definitely just that OP. And we hear a voice saying Lin Mo Yu as he yells up into the air as they are literally floating. Yup, it is Zi Hao, and he has veins on his forehead. This dude's gonna, he really looks like 50 years old and he's probably only 20. And he says, Why is he here? And Sister Mo Yoon pretty much explains that she is the son of the guild president. And she also mentions, saying nervously because she did not expect this, that they came here to delay them so that, of course, she could bring or sorry, the enemy could bring in another team and she asks what they should do. Lin Miu then says you go and delay the other team and don't let them defeat the boss, the Battlefield Ghost King, and he has his hands in his pocket saying, I'll deal with the people here and I'll meet you guys later. And yup, they begin to run away and Lin Mo Yu and Ning Yi Yi begin to descend. We then hear voices taunting them saying, Lin Mo Yu, Lin Mo Yu, I didn't expect to meet you here. It is Wang Zi Hao and this guy looks very zesty. He says, do you know, you went to Jiajing Academy but I have no academy to go to and it's all because of her boy he then uses berserk form and it seems like this guy won't get off the hook easily he says everything's because of you and now you shall bear the attacks of my hatred okay so why is Wang Zihao speaking like he is a main antagonist like this dude is literally a side villain our MC will literally kick him once and then he'll be kicked out of the Manwa never to be drawn again anyway Ning Yi mentions that this guy's brain isn't normal and of course it's because he is envious he then yells out for everybody to go and eliminate Lin Mo Yu and this guy is a level 38 knight with some pretty good stats but it definitely isn't enough and we then see them right here and they not they are not even moving out of the way because of course they don't seem to care at all as Lin Mo Yu brings up his summons right behind him and yep that's how you know you screwed up when you find out that this dude has summons it's obviously the same reaction because of course they're not making it out of there alive this guy calls them a monster and everybody looks in despair he says what's going on, and Ziao sweating, and yup, that is what you get for challenging the MC. He then tells the archers and the mages to attack him as well, but our MC then brings out his own arches and mages, and yup, they use their thunderbolt, blizzard storm, flame burst, explosive flames, and they're definitely way stronger than those third rate magicians. And yup, they get swept up like I'm using a broom to clean them up, or Limo Yu is, and they all begin to run away. And of course, Zi Hao is shocked at all of them running, and he says I didn't see him summon undead mages during the exams and yeah bro you know that people get stronger right but i guess close-minded people like that won't get it as we see a dude literally get incinerated and one of the guy mentions that we can't win this at all even if there are 10 or 20 more healers they won't catch up to the speed at which the skeletons are attacking and at least this guy has some brains as they are running wang zi oh, guys why does wang zi how still have the audacity to ask why they are running like this dude literally just got wrecked and he's about to get wrecked twice now and he says i want Linmo you killed and come on bro do it yourself if you wanted but yep he's just a side character so he'll never be that
that strong. He says, I can't allow him to steal away the glory. Like, come on, bro. You could have at least came out of here with your life. And just kidding, guys, because Lin Mo Yu already has corpse explosion ready. And oh, this is not going to end well. He says, it's that skill. A big explosion then appears. And he looks up saying, no. And yup. This is definitely not going to end well for him as we see the shadow of Lin Mo Yu. He then walks towards Wang Zihao and Wang Zihao has that face of, Oh, I definitely effed up. F stands for fridged. Alright, no cussing here. But anyway, he says, how many demons did this guy kill? He then comes to the ground and he begs for his life saying, Please, you can't kill me. What are you planning to do? Don't you know who my father is? And of course, it's another spoiled brat. But the look on our MC's face is definitely that of somebody who doesn't care about your status. He then says, I'll never let you go. And yep, you're definitely not leaving. We then see it is the Ghost Field Battlefield Ghost King right here. It looks very scary. It looks like some sort of former ancient martial artist that turned evil, like um, Tsukuna. But anyway, they are fighting valiantly, and one of them even mentions, Hehehe, <laughs> what an annoying chick, because of course he's talking about Mo Yoon, but look at this old dude, he is twice evolved, but they're pretty much still weak. And uh oh, they then see two bodies coming towards them, and um, let me just say, if you're in this manhwa right now, the last thing that you want to see are two bodies coming towards you, because, well, Corpse explosion, kaboom, and yep, they're definitely gone. Yep, they're like fireworks of the sky now. Anyway, one of them managed to survive, and he says, Who was it? And then Moyu is just standing there alongside his skeletons. Moyun mentions, How the heck did you deal with them so fast? And he then sends his other skeletons to go ahead and attack them. He then says, Explode to the corpses, and we see a large amount of flame balls just starting up from the ground. And Moyun says, Is this his true potential? No wonder this dude would solo farm dungeons at hell difficulty, and that's probably why sister Ning Yi Yi followed him, him as well to get free levels, and yeah, you're probably right, but at least she's not like Sakura, but Hey guys, I don't know why, I always just diss Akira. Anyway, we then see the guy and his shield breaks. He says, get the support team. They then use group defense, and they all say, oh, we are alive. However, oh my gosh, we see Lin Mo Yu's army, and this is not good. And look at their face, they are in turmoil. And Lin Mo Yu then tells Mo Yoon, that's about it. Let's deal with a battlefield ghost king. And she says, uh, uh, all right, and yeah, she didn't expect their boy to be this powerful, because yeah, the more powerful you are, guys, the more Riz you have, so keep that in mind. Anyway, this is the Battlefield Ghost King. We already mentioned his stats earlier, and we then see that, of course, he's the world boss, and it seems like he grew a pair of wings, or is that wings, or is that just his tattered clothes? Anyway, I must get tired, because, you know, I read like a thousand monos a day. <laughs> just kidding. Anyway, he then summons out his Thanato Scythe, the upgraded version. Let's go, guys. This dude is gonna wreck this dude, and and also, he summons out his general corpse. And yup, we then see Sister Mo Yoon. She says, how many cards does he have up his sleeve? And Ning Yi Yi just smiles because, well, this is a common occurrence once you're around the MC. He says that I'm not proficient at holy damage, so I'll leave that to you. And of course, it seems like she is definitely competent as well. She then loads up an attack. But come on, guys. Can we have another shout out to Lin Mo Yu for just being ultimately that guy? And yeah, he's way too cool. She then launches an attack on the being. And this dude seems to have gone gotten up injured quite a bit. He then uses lifesteal, however, she then gets out of the way and her MC uses his slow curse to disrupt his skills because they are actually pretty good. We then see his general flying over towards the world boss and he says go and restrain the movements and yup, he begins to attack the world boss and she says this Lin Mo Yu, how many tricks has he not used yet? Don't worry, that's none of your business. Anyway, it seems like the monster got infuriated and he punches the general summon and he says like it seems like my post guardian is slowly unable to handle the current battle and he needs to find a new summon and oh my gosh guys i am so hyped it seems like this world boss of hell difficulty is going to become our mc's new summon sister mo yun is on her pegasus and she begins to attack the world boss once again and she says dang it doesn't the ghost king receive negative 50 or sorry 50 percent more holy damage why did my attacks not work he then uses the bewitch skill and i honestly thought bewitch skill could only be used by good looking people but i wonder how this ogre got it anyway we see sister Mo Yoon here and she seems to be drastically affected so he then says of course she's not immune to mental controls so he orders the skeleton to go and fetch her and she begins to fall to the ground and yup we got the skeleton Riz right here as he catches her while she's falling 
and no, this isn't a Disney movie. He then tells Ning Yi to take care of Mo Yun while he takes care of the big guy. He says that this guy definitely is quite powerful, and he gives a smile as he says, How about I choose you as a next soul? And yup, we've finally been waiting for this. It's like Igris and Beru Beru. Anyway, he puts away his general class, but the guy tries to use Nihility, but her MC has skeleton armor as he negates the attack and he says, Time to work, my soldiers. He says, Have a taste a fried soul and he begins to use a soul blade on this dude and this guy yells out in pain and however oh it's too late because as he is giving off his yelling noises from the pain our boys mc or sorry our boy skeletons are already attacking him and yeah it's not gonna be good for this guy we then see sister mo yun is taking some healing potions from ning yi yi and she wonders what's happening and she looks back because of course she remembers that she was struck by a bewitching skill and she looks back towards the world boss she then sees the world boss and he's gotten even more furious as well as Lin Mo Yu attacking it on its on his own and she says oh my gosh he's attacking it by himself this dude is ultimate Rizzler now nah, I'm just kidding guys but she says the ghost king didn't even receive damage from holy one from holy damage but even after it amplified it's actually getting wrecked by her boy and so he tries to use lifesteal on her MC skeletons but he says all of them are undead so your lifesteal has no use at all of course we then see the skeletons begin to slash at it and he says no matter what I'm still considered a mage so I will just switch the magic attacks and of course Mo Yun is just absolutely shocked and she says is this how usually is this usually how Lin Mo Yu does in a dungeon and Ning Yi says yep that's right this dude is definitely Sung Jin Woo and he definitely just solo clears dungeon but of course I came along just to get free XP she might have said some of that five minutes later of fighting till the brink of death well, the monster, not Lin Mo Yu. Anyway, the monster dies, he gains 2.6 million XP, he gets the Ghost King Dagger, the Ghost King Longsword, the Ghost King Heart, and 5 Nirvana Crystals. Oh my gosh, here are the statuses right here. The Ghost King Dagger is pretty much a platinum grade weapon, and it has Nihility, which turns the body into nothingness for 30 seconds and ignores physical damage, and it has a cooldown of 5 minutes. The second is the Longsword, and when using personal strength as base for launching attacks, it absorbs health to recover the body, 5 minute cooldown as well. The third king is a ghost king heart, which is actually a very important ingredient to make some strong accessories. And the last one, yes guys, it is the nirvana crystal, which increases the probability of a job evolution to the second job change. And this is what Sister Mo Yoon has been looking for. Our MC tries to summon the soul and let's go guys he has successfully did it and this guy looks absolutely eerie and scary and i know that this dude is definitely going to be a force to be reckoned with this is a battlefield ghost king he is still level 39 and all of his stats have pretty much remained the same and he says although it's weak to holy control effects overall it's definitely not bad of course mo yun says what the heck it's over just like this he can kill the battlefield ghost king all on his own and our mc we just see a picture of our mc looking cool but but hey, I'm all for that. I'm trying to see our boy look very cool. She then receives a Nirvana crystal from our MC. And she says, I finally obtained one after so many years. And she says in her heart, with this Nirvana crystal, I have a 60% confidence in evolving. And yes, I must be successful. And the glory of my family shall be continued with me. And it seems like she has a story of a fallen noble family. But um, uh, that's definitely not cliche, right? <clears throat> Anyway, she says, thank you so much, Limo Yu. This Nirvana crystal is very important to me. And our boy Limo Yu just has his hands in his pocket. Oh gosh, this is how it's always going to be. Anyway, we then see the other three items fall off. And he says, your luck is not bad. It even dropped the main material for the Ghost King necklace and the Ghost King heart. She then smiles and says, I only need the Nirvana crystal so you can have the rest to yourself. And she mentions, if you can't find a suitable alchemist, let Ning Yi find one for you. And of course, she looks back at Ning Yi and she mentions, Mo Yu is gran grandpa buys half disciple so he doesn't even need her anymore and yep we then see Mo Yun is absolutely shocked because of course she knows that Bai Shen never accepts disciples but of course after seeing Lin Mo Yu's abilities she can understand why he is his disciple however she then realizes that he killed members of the Wang Chao guild especially their young president this time this time and so the president will definitely not let this go she says that their guild president is a thrice evolved top professional and with Lord Bai Shen guarding you they won't be able to do anything Thing. However, it's hard to say that. But Lin Mo Yu says, don't worry, I'm mentally prepared. And look at this dude, he looks absolutely ready. And he mentions, I need to make sure nobody sees this then. And as long as nobody alive, nobody will see it. And his eyes begin to
that turn purple, and I wonder if this is Sung Jin Woo's relative or something, but probably not. Uh, anyway, we are on the third battlefield and we get a notification saying Battlefield Ghost King has been eliminated. The Ghost King heart has been dropped and everybody around says, my goodness, that monster of a beast was actually killed? Who did it? He says, wow, which team is this powerful? We are back at the Wang Chao Guild and he sees the president. He sees that of course the Ghost King heart has been defeated or the Ghost King heart has dropped and the king has been defeated. He smiles and he says all the humiliation my son received will all be paid back one day. And he tells one of his subordinate that after Zihao experienced real battle in the battlefield, he will definitely be a changed person, so go and find an alchemist. He says this because he wants to forge a new accessory using the ghost heart, and it's going to be the ghost necklace. And well, we see Lin Mo Yu and he is literally just exploding all the corpses, and he says well, all the remains will be destroyed, and yeah. Of course, Ningyi Yi says as long as we don't divulge with the truth, nobody will be able to find out what actually happened here. And oh my gosh guys, Lin Mo Yu really is a walking powerhouse, or probably a power country or power universe. We then see Mo Yun, they all smash the crystal and they teleport out of that dungeon. And we switch back to Lord Bai Shen, as well as Lord Meng and Wen. And these guys always seem to be chilling, like I guess if you want to be chill like this guys, you just have to be you know, the strongest ever in your country, and they are then discussing on whether or not Lin Mo Yu was successful in his mission, and Lord Bai blushes, and he says, yeah, yeah, don't worry. Of course, Meng Wen says, do you think that kid right now was the one who defeated the Battle Ghost King? And Bai Shen doesn't seem to say anything. We then see Lin Mo Yu teleports back, and he bows his head out of respect. This guy's a goat. And he says, Lord Bai Shen and Lord Meng, I have arrived. He asks if the mission is done, and he brings out the crystals, and Bai Shen says, not bad. However, he notices that he is a two-star second lieutenant and Lin Mo Yu just gives a face of Riz and lock in and man play some music or something for this dude because he is way too cool. Anyway Bai Shen then begins to think saying one would need over 20,000 military merit and of course this dude was also carrying Ning's precious daughter so that means he would have to have killed 400 demons but MC says I killed some high-ranking demons <laughs> and even Lord Meng Anwen spits out his tea and Bai Shen is absolutely shocked. He then says, uh, Lin Mo Yu, can you tell me what's going on? And he explains, well, here's the thing. I came across a space portal and that and blah, 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 blah. And of course, Bai Shen smiles out of happiness saying, Lai Yian, that dude is probably going to be pissed to death. And yup, he says, boy, you actually did that. He mentions that they can step it up next time. And he says, Lord Bai, Lord Meng, this time in the third battlefield, we met the divine magician, Yu Yan. And they are definitely shocked by this. And he says, wait, you met the divine flame magician? He then explains everything that happened. And they say, ah, I see. Someone went to clear this dungeon before. Why didn't he receive the same favor of the divine flame magician? And he's talking about Lord Bai. And Lord Bai says, it's because my profession hadn't evolved at that time. He then says, no need to find somebody else, the best person is right here. And he's talking about the space crystal to make a cooldown talisman. He then brings out the Shenxia Empire or the Shenxia Tower, Meng and Wen, and it seems like he's going to begin to craft it. We then see that rainbow lit fire and it begins to turn into the rainbow color. And yup, it is the Abyss Teleportation Stone and I'm guessing that this is actually better than the cooldown talisman. He says that the this teleportation stone is soul bound to you, so only you can use it. And he then thanks Lord Meng and Wen. He mentions that you gotta keep that talent stone well. It would be very useful to you when of course you undergo your third job evolution. But I wonder how many evolutions and how strong are Lord Bai and Len Lord Meng and Wen because it seems like they definitely got some OP job awakenings. And Lord Bai says, as for the flame staff, I'll find somebody to go ahead and fix it. He then brings it out and he gives it towards him. And he also brings out the Ghost King heart. And he says, oh my gosh, it really is a Ghost King heart. And Meng Anwen says, see, I told you that the Battlefield Ghost King was killed by this dude. And Bai Shen seems to be kind of impressed by this. He then asks about the Nirvana crystal. And he explains that five have dropped and he has three of them on hand. And he says, give, them, give me two of them and I will help you prepare for the second job evolution. And Lord Pai seems to be kind of pained because he's going to have to spend a lot of materials for our boy Lin Mo Yu. And he says that it's a shame that this is your second time awakening a talent. If this was your first, this old man has 90% confidence of letting you awaken a talent. He then bows his head and he says, thank you Lord Bai. And we hear, for the sake of job evolution, yup, Lord Bai definitely sacrificed a lot of things to do so. Meng Anwen then says, why are you still calling him Lord Bai Shen? And then he walks towards Lord Bai and he bows down saying, Disciple Lin Mo Yu, 
greets my master as he hands him a, a cup of tea and this symbolizes the disciple and the master relationship. Our boy Lin Mo Yu then gets flashbacks of all of the loved ones he have in this manhwa or in his life. Sorry guys. And he says, I have another kin in this world. So it's now time for me to get stronger. He says, not bad. You've worked hard these few days. Go back and rest. He mentions tomorrow is of course the time you have to go to Nanhong City and prepare for the competition of the professionals and he also has to get the crown. Of course, he then teleports away and Meng Anwen then asks if he's happy but then Bai Shen says, happy. All of my years of savings are gone but definitely it's going to be put to good use. Lord Bai asks if he is foolish if he were to interfere between of course Wang Zihao's family because of course Lin Mo Yu killed him as well as his subordinates and of course Meng Anwen then says, well it'll make you kind of foolish but don't worry if old man Ning found out about Yi Yi going to the battlefield, he's probably going to find you soon so it wouldn't matter. This is the second day, it is the Nan Hong City Arena for the competition of professionals and we even see some drones here, I didn't expect they would have drones, like come on where are the cars now? Anyway, yep, there are a lot of people gathered here and we then see it is his old teammates from the dungeon clearing. It is Jiang Tao Tao as well as Miao Yu and yep, they definitely help their boy in the future and they are now teamed up, of course. And she says, however, as she looks at her MC, officials say that 90% of teams will be eliminated at the additions, but well, it doesn't matter because we have Lin Mo Yu. The next team is up and they're ready to go ahead and pass the additions. And then they then enter and we see some chains around them. We hear, so the Empire used Shen Xia Tower for the test. I see, looks like we just had to follow the tunnel and defeat all of the monsters. She then tells Lin Mo Yu, first we will try to do it on our own and please help us if you can't handle it. And yup, that's how you know you're way too OP if, if your own teammates are asking you to hold back. They're fighting a fake abyss dog demon and they then charge towards it. Kaboom, kaboom, kapow, shield bash. And yup, they're doing a really good job. And right behind them is of course Ning Yi Yi. She then slices it and she says, Look like, looks like after following Moyu for a while, I've become much stronger as well. And she says, we can still deal with this, so let's move on. Lin Moyu is very happy and he says, from his experience, the examinations would never be so simple. So this is just the beginning. We then see a stat board here, pretty much explaining that there are 30 thousand teams there which is absolutely tremendous and everybody is looking at all these teams get eliminated. Ning Yi then kills with a fatal strike and we see that she kills another one just like that. Implosion just like that and our team is definitely going to win the tournament as we see Jiang Tao Tao use her slash ability and I know that this team is definitely going to shock everybody in the audiences. Those audiences are definitely going to have fun watching that show and I hope that you enjoyed watching this video as well because you have reached the end make sure to comment down the word boss if you made it all the way here and you are now a part of the secret ending squad i hope you guys did enjoy this video i'll see you guys in the next one make sure to watch these ones if you want to see some other cool manwas and without further ado i hope you guys have a great day